Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. You know, Insight is a, a global biopharmaceutical company, and they've announced uh, their opening call for submissions for their new Insight Ingenuity Award. Now, here to talk about Insight's dedication to this program is Insight's Executive Vice President, General Manager of the United States, Dr. Barry Flannelly. Thanks for having us on. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about this award. Now, um, before we get into uh, the award, uh, what is your area of expertise? Give us a brief brief background uh, about yourself. Sure. So I've been in the pharmaceutical industry uh, for more than 20 years. Uh, I really started as an oncology pharmacist. So I am a pharmacist by training. Um, ran the pharmacy department at Johns Hopkins Cancer Center, uh, even way back when I uh, helped, well, tried to help patients with uh, graft versus host disease in our practice because we had many uh, patients that underwent uh, bone marrow transplant. And then since I've joined the pharmaceutical industry, I've always worked in the field of oncology, uh, helping to uh, develop and uh, deliver uh, cancer drugs, drugs to treat cancer patients. Now, you mentioned graft versus host disease. What exactly is that and how is it related to this award? So graft versus host disease is an important uh, result of patients getting a bone marrow transplant or a stem cell transplant. So essentially the transplanted material from another human, uh, while it's going to be beneficial for their underlying disease like leukemia, lymphoma, uh, and other blood cancers, is um, uh, in fact those cells end up attacking uh, the patient's body uh, sometimes, not all the time, and can cause some devastating effects on their um, organs and on their skin uh, that can sometimes even lead to death. Mm. Our company, Insight, has uh, developed and actually has a drug now approved for patients with acute steroid refractory graft versus disease, but we have uh, about five ongoing clinical trials around the world with two different drugs trying to improve the lives of patients who are suffering with graft versus host disease or perhaps even ultimately cure them if we can. Uh, just to put it into perspective for our listeners, when you said sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes not all the time does this uh, graft versus uh, host disease occur, what percentage are we talking about in patients who receive uh, these transplants developing this disease? Yeah, well, it varies from center to center. It depends on their underlying disease and uh, pre preconditioning mm -hmm. regimens that they have to receive before and, and after their bone marrow transplant. Uh, so it can be uh, from 30 to 50% of patients that actually experience acute graft versus host disease. And there's another uh, longer term uh, sequelae that happens, and that is uh, classified as chronic graft versus host disease. Mm -hmm. That is a little bit different, and in fact, uh, it it uh, attacks mostly the skin, ligaments, eyes, uh, mucous membranes, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, it's it's uh, two separate diseases, but they're related again to the um, donated materials uh, from other people that are attacking um, organs in the patient's body. Now, you talked about, uh, you mentioned two drugs that uh, Insight has developed thus far. Yeah, so one is Ruxolitinib, that's uh, the brand name is Jackify, that's approved for the treatment of patients with uh, mild fibrosis, polycythemia vera, and as I said before, acute steroid refractory graft versus host disease. We have another investigational drug that's not approved. Uh, it's called Itacitinib, that's being studied uh, in three different clinical trials in three different settings uh, right now, one for acute graft versus host disease, one for chronic, and maybe even uh, in the prophylactic, it, it is being studied trying to prevent graft versus host disease from occurring in the first place. So we're waiting for the results of those trials. So this, um, this Insight Ingenuity Award is related to um, doing more research into uh, GVHD in the prevention or treatment of? Well, it's really... Uh, to bring together the entire community that are uh, concerned about graft versus host disease, obviously patients, uh, researchers, um, other organizations that are uh, helping advocacy um, 
the advocacy community that's trying to help these patients. So it really can come from any number of places and it's really uh, targeted at um, trying to come up with new ways to help patients in a variety of ways. It could be research, but it also could be just dealing with the day-to-day -day problems that patients with graft versus host disease experience, whether that's financial, psychosocial, uh, other issues. And it can be, um, you know, this award is just the beginning. It's just one of our ways that we're trying to support uh, uh, this community that uh, is, is dealing with graft versus host disease. So it's not necessarily about drugs and uh, basic research. It could be but it's more uh, about uh, if patients come up with a great idea, if family members come up with a great idea, if the, um, if the community that deals with graft versus host disease, uh, charitable organizations and so forth want to submit a great idea to us, then we'll, uh, we'll evaluate them and uh, make an award or more awards. If it comes out to be that it's uh, a smaller idea that we think is great, then we can give out multiple awards. So how do we submit? So uh, actually, we submit at uh, www.insightingenuityaward.com. And you can learn more information there. Uh, and um, uh, we'll evaluate. So we want to have an application. We're hoping by the end of uh, all of the applications in by April 30th, 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a panel of judges, independent judges that will review these ideas and then make the award. And once again, that website where we can get more information and uh, submit? www.insightingenuityaward.com. Great. Dr. Flanley, thank you for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you, Neil. Thanks very much. Have a great day. You as well. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Barry Flanley. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in and download at SoundCloud. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.